Whoops. Sorry. You think it's gonna sink? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a homemade DIY project on our hands and it's about to begin right now. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video. Here today, we are going to build a dock that is going into this pond right here. Gary, Gary. Ready? And now they'll be quiet. The plan is to build some sort of dock mechanism. I got some foam in the garage that I'll show you in just a second. I want to build a floating dock in here. Whether the turtles use it, the ducks use it, whatever it is, it's gonna be pretty big. But I wanna put it in that back corner over there. There's a lot of turtles in here. You just don't see them much. When I feed like this, if you look closely, sometimes you'll see like little heads and stuff pop up. Let's see if I can find any. Sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't. A lot of times you'll see them though. Anyway, there's turtles in here. And whether the turtles use this, like I mentioned, or the ducks, it's still gonna be a cool DIY project. And I'm excited to do it. So in that back corner right there, right over yonder, there's gonna be a little floating dock. You guys are gonna be on it. I can assure you these ducks are gonna use it. Hey piggies, I literally just fed all these animals. I mean, I'm not even kidding you. Like 30 minutes prior to filming this video. This is the foam we're gonna be using. Got it from my buddy Carlos. Looks like it was a chair prior, like the packaging to a chair. I don't know how many of these we're gonna need in order for it to float, but the plan is to just stack as many as we need to float a piece of plywood, put the plywood on top, build little edges for the turtles to get up on. We've got a homemade DIY project on our hands and it's about to begin right now. Now, oh, oh hey buddy. On this side of the yard, where there was just a giant pile of trash until Hector came and got rid of it and saved me the good stuff, which the good stuff is right here. This is some of the stuff I'm gonna use for today's video. I need one week of no rain in this backyard so we can just get this project done. I can't even touch this yard until it stops raining. But I think we're on a day and a half streak with no rain, so I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed. All I know is this stuff, look, I'm not sinking anymore. See that? It's a good sign. I'm not sinking anymore. Oh, oh, I cannot wait. Dock goes out right here. We can literally do so much. I have multiple plans for this, multiple. And I don't know what I'm going with yet. I guess it's just part of the journey and part of the fun of it, but whatever I do end up doing, it's gonna be an absolute blast. Now, once this plywood is on top of the foam, I've gotta figure out a way to make like a, a slanted like edge, you know, like that comes down at a slant so that the turtles can get on and off. <sighs> What can I do? I'm thinking what if I did one side with a slant instead of every corner? I just grabbed one of these. I've got an idea. This is gonna be hardcore DIY, PC construction, meaning not contractor level building here. Um, I'm gonna give it a wing. All right, so I've done some measurements on, you know, different ideas I had on what I wanted to do. And then I put both of them together, both the pieces of foam, and it's the exact same size. I mean, it's literally off width, about an inch difference. So I could literally place that on top of this. The only bad thing is I need some sort of security that that is gonna stay on top of this. I could drill, but I mean, you know, it's styrofoam. How good is a screw gonna stick into styrofoam? So then I gotta go from the top and actually use like some sort of Boring. I'll get to the bottom of this. All right, so the plan is we've trimmed the foam to where it's even on both sides. It was almost the size of the plywood. Now, all I gotta do is do the sides with plywood like this, and I'm pretty much just gonna build a box around the foam. Hopefully, all this wood, it is thick wood. I wish I had some like thinner stuff, you know, thinner wood, but this is all I've got, all I'm working with, and uh, if it doesn't work, then I fail. This is why I make YouTube videos. <laughs> Got both sides on, gotta do these sides as well. Pretty much L bracketed up. Um, I don't think I have any L brackets. Figure it out. 
Absolutely stunning. As you can see, once we do all this and put it all together, put a screw through here, into that one, screw through here, into that one, they're literally all perfectly measured out. Around this side, same thing on this side, straight through there. Dock, I mean, it's literally just a piece of wood that's gonna float. By the way, this is all pressure treated wood. Woo Told you guys I'd have a plan. Now, uh, the big question is, will it float? Well, I gotta do a couple more things before we do that, but I wonder if it's gonna float. <laughs> Now you know, I love my job for many different reasons, and this right here is a perfect example of one of them. Uh, you can just do stupid stuff like this for fun, and it doesn't gotta be so serious. Never know, we might need some of that wood. Whoops, sorry. What's up, bud? Show it to me again. <laughs> Dude, that looks good, man. No, no, it looks good. It's just what's underneath it. Some foam. <laughs> you think it's gonna sink? Yeah. <laughs> uh. That is what we'll tie our string to in order to, you know, retrieve and, <laughs> yeah. And here is the top of it. It looks good, and it doesn't matter how it looks on top because it's literally just there for the ducks or turtles. Check it, it's not all that bad. Your boy killed it. I'm officially a contractor. If you guys want a custom dock, just hit me up. Let me know I charge 14 cents to finish something like this. Let me just tell you, bring out the checkbooks because it's getting serious. Beautiful. Now the real challenge is how the heck do I get this over to the pond? This thing is heavy as heck, and I wouldn't doubt if it sank. Please don't sink. If this works, it's gonna be a miracle. Let's keep going. Grab our stakes and our rope, because hopefully this floats. <laughs> All right, we are over here by the pond. I know initially I said I was gonna try to attempt to float it in the pool prior. Okay, every time. You physically cannot film with this goose. Unless you feed it. Go. Away. I was initially gonna float it in the pool prior to putting it in the pond, but this thing is heavy and I'm all alone. So I'm thinking I just drag it out, I dump it in the pond, and if it floats, it floats. If it sinks, well, we've got a lot of other issues on our hands if that happens. So, without further ado, I'm gonna ask you guys to comment down below if you think this dock is gonna float or sink. Let me know down in the comments down below. Whew. It's actually not a bad sized dock either, it's pretty big. You know, you've got a real attitude, okay. <laughs> I just saw, I just saw one of the Midas cichlids from last video up on the bank here. Le oh, no way. Guess what? In the trap, one of our Midas cich- oh my god, and a lot more. Holy moly. One of our Midas cichlids from last video found his way in the trap. I gotta get you out of there. What are you doing? These guys we caught in last video, and he found his way into the trap somehow. Go free. I just saw the bigger one over there, too. I'm gonna lock these guys back up. As you can see, these are the ones I feed my fish, but I don't want those Midases to sit in there. I'll leave this out. It's easier for me to come just grab that trap, empty it into a bucket, go feed my fish. Sometimes I cast net too, got the cast net over here, but I do both. Okay, next challenge here is to get this dock into here. It's real muddy too, by the way. Without any of the ducks, or especially these escape artist pigs that I rescued because they escaped their owner's house. Owner still hasn't reached out, by the way. What I'm trying to say is without them getting out of this gate. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna throw some food on the ground so they get all distracted. I just set you on the ground. I gotta get this we got it, it's in the gate, we're all good. Food is the key source to distracting any animal, at least at my farm. Now, let's put the dock in and see if it floats. Oh God, it just fell, that scared me. I have no one here to film with me or for me, so I'm just gonna set this up right here, and you shall see when it floats or sinks the same time I see. Let's do it. Remember, drop down in the comments down below whether you think it's gonna sink or float. Here we go.
Uh oh. Oh, we're looking. Oh, yes! Yes! It floats! It floats! Look! I freaking did it, baby! Hit the like button. I just did it. I built the floating dock. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! It floats a lot better than I thought. I can literally surf on this thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Help. Help. Oh no. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> the only way out of that was to get in the water. I got, I, I stranded myself. You know, I never really knew how much fun I could have alone here at my house. Built a floating dock. Check it out. Woo! You better hit that like button, I'll tell you what. Let's tie her off. We're gonna put her over there. Now let me explain. I think I'm gonna just have to retitle. Ow, it's a rock. This entire video, I was gonna build a turtle floating dock. Now, I don't know how much of a turtle floating dock this is, as there is about a five inch ledge right here to get up on the dock. Yeah. I got no idea how I'm gonna do this, but I'm just gonna hang this cage kinda at a way where turtles could easily climb up. This is like, you know, if you bend this, it stays bent, you know? So I'm gonna make it like, like that. Boom, just like that, and it looks amazing. So I actually cut the wire like right there so that I'd have a whole spike of metal that I could dig into the foam through this crack. So now we have this cage that goes into there, as you can see, not going anywhere. I mean, it's in there, pretty dang good. Not going nowhere. That not only will let the ducks go up, but now the main purpose of this entire video was a turtle dock. It's got the cage there for a turtle dock. Well, bam, baby. This is the most epic thing I've ever done in my entire life. I'm honestly proud of myself. I can stand. I can stand on this. No, 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 not again, not again, not again, no. I can stand on this dock, and it doesn't even sink. And I'm over here thinking it was gonna sink. Contractor Paul coming at you. Told you, 14 cents, you get yourself a floating dock. All right, I'm gonna tie this off. You know, my grandpa, I know you're watching, Pop-Up. You'd be real proud of me right now. Same with you, Pops. Bam. She's floating, she's in, tied up, staked in the ground, not going anywhere. It's got a little bit of slack so it can kind of, you know, drift around, but we have built a floating dock that holds me. I mean, I could literally get on it and I just did it again and I fell in the water. You wanna disbelieve in me? Oh, uh huh? You wanna disbelieve in my abilities to build a floating dock? Go jump on it, go stand on it. Oh, I'll stand on it, all right. Look at this beast. <laughs> Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Yeah. Yeehoo. You're playing. Now never doubt me again. What did you, what type of foam did you put under there? Foam. I'll be honest, I never thought it would, I did not think it was going to work either. So we're on the same page, but I ended up coming up with a dub. And he's frozen. On the Facebook page that we posted, because these guys are missing, there's someone else's pigs. We actually know the real name of this little girl over here. Her name is Willow. Someone commented on our post when she was missing previously, and she went missing again, clearly. If you're out there, Willow's owner, let me know. Contact us if you're missing Willow here on the local Lost and Found pet page. We'd love to give you Willow and obviously your other pig there. I don't know what you have that one named. <laughs> Oh, they also do this to the entire yard. It is, it's like that the whole entire way down, all the way down. That could be another reason why the owners maybe just let them out. Caferos, put your mind to something, whether you're a contractor or not, whether you think you're gonna be able to do it or not, and anything's possible. I promise you, I just built that and I had no idea if you wanted my honest opinion, I never thought I would have been able to build a floating dock on my own. And this could be super easy to a lot of people. Oh, I do that on a daily basis. I build crazier stuff than that super easily. You guys know I'm not the best builder. And for me to do something like this, proud of myself. Pat myself on the back. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like. 
If you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe down below. Some super cool merch on the way. As you know, the new drop's dropping. It's going to be an epic one, um, and I can't wait to let you guys know and to show you guys all the beautiful designs we have this drop. Coming soon, by the end of this month, if not early November. You're going to want to order super quick, though, once it does drop. Just stay tuned. I'll let you guys know. The ducks are already coming to check it out. They're like, what the heck is this thing? You will see these guys on this dock in an upcoming video. I promise you, they're going to be on this dock more than any other animal. I can even get another rope and tie it to that side, and it'll keep the dock like in the middle. But I kind of like that I can control, you know what I mean? The pond officially has a dock. Y'all have been waiting for this video. And there it is. Thank you so much once again for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Now, time to go surfing. Let's see if it holds me. Boom.